go together, like peanut butter and cheese. Other things don't, like moms in school. Jamie? I don't see what the big deal is. I just need a few things right now. But it's always the last minute with you, Jamie. Raisa's mom took her to a museum to research her art history paper. She didn't even think about what minute it was. Sydney's mom makes her bacon and eggs every morning. Guess she has a minute to feed her child. Mm. Morning, toast, yum. <laughs> Look, it's not that much. I just need $3 for the yearbook. Oh, and you gotta sign this parent volunteer form, the school upgrade petition, and a couple of field trip forms. Piece of cake, right, Dad? I've got 16 emails already and... <sighs> okay, read off the forms, fill them in, and I'll sign. Fire away. Okay, parent volunteer skills. Let's see, sports. Okay, sports, no. Musical ability, yeah, right, not. Sales, yes. Crafts, um, no. Blah, blah, no, no. Would you like to be a parent volunteer? No. Okay, sign this, and this, and this one, and the petition, and this. Is that called pizza? Don't ask. It's all my dad could come up with for a last minute lunch. My mom didn't have time. I mean, half the time she works during dinner and I'm stuck eating my dad's lame pork chops. Didn't you go on about your mom enough on the way to school and in homeroom and during spare? This from the girl with the crusts cut off her sandwich? Okay, change of subject. Can you believe Mrs. Brunsky is leaving tomorrow? You guys are so lucky to have moms who show an interest in your lives. Hey, what do you mean Brunsky's leaving tomorrow? You know, her sabbatical to the motherland. Yeah, and while she's off having fun in Siberia, we're stuck without a music club. Miss Brunsky? People, I am so happy with joy. Jamie, your mother, the musical maestro, has volunteered to take over the music club while I'm away. It's excellent news, no? No! Must tell principal excellent news. <laughs> Miss Brensky, wait, wait! I believe an X in a box means no. Doesn't an X in a box mean no? I made the mistake, mother. You should definitely not have to pay for it. No worries, it should be fun. You're always telling me I should spend more time with you. Have you any concept of what kids are into musically? Do you even know what Magnet 360 is? I think your mother is the perfect person to whip the music club into shape. She's a born motivator. Ugh, oh, Dad, helping, not. Mom, too busy, yes. If Ray's mom can organize the bake sale and Sydney's mom can volunteer three mornings a week in the library, I think it's time this super mom joined the club. Fine, but don't blame me when everything goes really, really wrong. Hello, how's everything shaping up? Uh, we're just learning a new song, but it sounds kind of rough actually. That's fabulous. How's the foundation coming along? Any more cracks? Some in the horn section, but only when they blow too hard. Great. So we can expect to raise the roof on Friday then. I don't know about raising the roof. We might need to practice a few more times. Terrific. Bye. You're, You're leaving, leaving already? already? Hello. So how's everything shaping up here? What? Oh, you were on the phone. Uh, we thought you were talking to us. Mom, you're still plugged in. Oops. Hi, I'm Jamie's mom. You can call me Margo or Ms. Brooks or Mom. <laughs> Up to you. Sorry, I'll just turn that off. I know that tune. That's Magna 360's new single. 
I did a little research into tween music, and I programmed the song into my phone's ringer. Cool, huh? I can't believe she used the word tween in a real-life sentence. Your mom's just trying to be cool. Don't worry about it. At least we still have a music club. And your mom saved it. Jamie, get over yourself. <sighs> Thanks, Ray. You're right. Why don't we get your mom in and she can sing? While we're at it, let's get Sid's mom in to dance a little jig in front of all your friends. Oh, right. I just have to face the fact that life as I knew it is over. Jamie, it's your mother, not the Wicked Witch. What is she doing here during school hours? I mean, after school is bad enough. Paperwork for the music club? Maybe she wants to sit in on your classes. What? Jay, I'm kidding. Chill out, girl. I can't take it. I'm gonna have to quit the music club. It's too embarrassing. Jay, your playing isn't that bad. Very funny, but I'm serious. Sure, Jay, and I'm gonna quit the basketball team and Sid's gonna give up Eco Team. Give it a rest. Guess everyone's here who's gonna be here, so let's get started. Where's Jamie? I thought she was kidding about quitting. Not at the music club drumming up a storm? Maestro Margo's got it covered. Hey, your mom's just trying to spend some time with you. Yeah, me and 10 other people. You weren't at music club last night. Where were you? Yeah, you missed all the fun, Jay. Your mom is totally inspiring us. I just love her. You gotta come tonight for the big musical brainstorm session. Hmm, I'll see if I feel like living out my worst nightmare again. Jay, weren't you saying how you wanted her to do more stuff with you? I meant me and her stuff, not me and her on my turf stuff. So, you're giving up. This is just not the daughter-mom thing I wanted. So, what is, Jay? Well, if I knew that, I'd be doing that, wouldn't I? Hey, that's it! I find something we can do together, and she won't have to do the whole music club thing anymore. Jamie, what's up with the workout gear? I'm joining you for yoga. Thought I could use a good stretch, loosen up the joints, you know. Great, didn't know you were interested. Me? Love the whole Zen and Zan thing. Really, you'll see. Try breathing a little more softly, Jamie. Oh. Sorry, she said no. I think I found the inner blue ocean thing, and I'm going surfing. Great! I feel so rejuvenated! What's next? What's next is I'm dropping you off at home and I'm going to my book club. Book club? Sounds great! I'd like to come if that's okay with you. I mean, you're always telling me to read more stuff. Promise you'll be quiet and listen. It's a very small, intimate group. Right, I get it. I can do this. We can do this together. I won't say a word. The guy's just old and boring and thinks he's got something to say about something when he's really just a windbag with a chip on his shoulder when it comes to stuff, you know? <laughs> Mother, for the tenth time! Someone could have told me that old guy was the one who wrote the book. Anyway, if he can't take a little constructive criticism, then maybe he should pick a new career. Make it way better is hardly constructive criticism, Jay. So, <laughs> it was a good night then? I was banned from the book club for life. Touchy people. And I don't know if I can ever show my face there again, thanks to the book critic here. Guess it didn't work. What didn't work? My plan to find something we could do together, so you wouldn't have to feel like you had to stay in the music club. But I like the music club. So did I. But not with me. Isn't that embarrassing? 
Well, at school, kinda. Do you think we could call your days as the maestro over and find something we could do? Just you and me. If you promise me you won't ever set foot in my yoga class or critique the Dean of English again. Okay, deal. And this one lady is stuck in this upside down pose and everyone else forgets about her because they're trying to help the one who's pinned under the folding chairs. It was too hilarious. I don't know how you do it, Jay. You came out of this one without getting grounded? <laughs> it's unbelievable. What can I say? When you got it, you got it. My mom and I are gonna start taking pottery classes on Wednesdays, just the two of us. So your mom's quitting the music club? As soon as the school finds a replacement. <laughs> Harmony, it's that thing you get when everything's where it ought to be. Me back in music class and Brunsky back early from Siberia. is it that when one person sees an apple, another sees an orange? But get this, they're both looking at the same peach. Sydney, Reza, you are never gonna believe what's happened. Robbie Jenkins called me on the phone and I have absolutely no idea what he said. The love of your life phones you and you don't know what he said? Jamie, is this an imaginary call or a real call we're talking about? Real! He left this message on my voicemail. He said... Okay, things hang in the balance and nothing will be decided until you decide. He said that? Well, that makes no sense. Exactly. Exactly what? I don't know. Look, 911 situations require face-to-face -face triple thinks and nothing less. Great. Meet me at the usual spot in half an hour. Bye. Jamie, did you ever think of just calling him back and finding out what he meant? Jamie? Reza? Anyone? I can't call him back. What if he tells me things are still hanging in the balance and it's time to decide? What if I decide the wrong thing? Maybe this is his way of asking you out on a date. Or maybe it has something to do with yesterday when we saw him. We saw him yesterday? We saw him yesterday! I totally forgot! So, what happened between yesterday and today to so radically mess with the universe that it would make Robbie Jenkins phone you and talk gibberish? You make it sound like he couldn't possibly want to just phone me. Maybe he likes me, plain and simple. Brilliant, that's it, that's what it means. He likes you, case closed. Phew, okay, okay, we're getting nowhere. If we could just go back in time and have you answer the phone, we'd know what this whole mess was about. We could go back in time. If each of us tries to remember every little thing we did yesterday, something's gonna come up that makes sense of it. But weren't we all together yesterday? At the pool? Exactly. We'll be able to see the day from all three sides. Yours, Reza's, and mine. A real triple think. Sounds like a plan. Let's rewind. Okay, me first. I remember it like it was yesterday. I just finished cleaning my room and doing my morning yoga when I heard this ridiculous banging sound coming from outside. It was you two. Let's go, Jay. We're never gonna get good spots by the pool and I don't care if I'm being completely and totally unreasonable. Just hurry up, will ya? Listen, we did show up really early, but we refused to give you the few extra seconds you deserve to get ready, so move it. Wow! Awesome tankini, Jamie! Oh, stop! This old thing? You're embarrassing me! Let's go! So, we were at the pool and I remember this guy. This very cute guy. He came up to me out of the blue. Is this pool heated? You know, I don't think the pool is heated, but it feels warm to me, so it just might be. By the way, I'm Jamie. Thanks for the info, Jamie. Splash you later. <laughs> I mean, see you later. Who was, was that? that? Just a very cute guy who I talked to without any hesitation and even managed to drop my name. How smooth is that? 
Wow! Later, we were lounging around, and then... I think that's when Robbie went by on his bike. Yeah, he waved and almost lost his balance. <gasps> that's it! Yeah, to someone who's been living in her own universe. Where she's the only star. What do you mean? Jamie, you're kind of remembering things completely wrong. Let's try to figure out what happened on this planet yesterday. No kidding. I think it's time someone more down to earth took over with the truth. Thank you, Reza. I meant me. Okay, here goes. Jay, we're never gonna get good spots by the pool. Please, hurry up. Ugh! What? No apologies for keeping us waiting half an hour? Oh, stop. All I had to wear is this old thing. I'm gonna so embarrass myself. Whatever, let's go. Then we took off on our bikes for the pool. I remember Jamie thought I was going too fast and had to stop for a break. Jamie, I can't stand all this stopping and starting. Forget the brakes. Let's move, please. So finally, we were at the pool. I remember this guy, the cute guy. He came up to me and I totally brushed him. Is this pool heated? How would I know if the pool's heated? Do I look like a maintenance guy? Aren't you Reza Jackson, star forward of the basketball team? Hey, sorry I bugged you. Later. Who was that? that? Just a sports fan. Knows my moves on the court. Recognized me. No biggie. Wow! So, we're lounging, and that's when Robbie went by on his bike. He was looking back behind him and holding a video controller in his hand. <gasps> that's when I saw Evan coming after him, and he looked real mad. Robbie wasn't waving at you, Jamie. He was waving his controller at Evan. They must be having some kind of gamer fight. Evan wasn't there. When Robbie's around, you usually don't see anything within a hundred feet of him. He could have been there. So Robbie called Jamie because he wants her advice about Evan. That's it. Robbie and Evan's friendship is hanging in the balance. Mystery unmystified. Unmystified is right. According to your version of events, I didn't even speak yesterday. Talk about being the center of your own universe. So why did Robbie call me? I'm lost. I think it's time we let go of the Reza yesterday and the Jamie yesterday and talked about the real yesterday. Let me fill you in. The day actually began at my house when I tried to call Jamie on my cell to give her a heads up that we were on our way. Hi, can I speak to Jamie? What? Oh, Evan? Whoops, <laughs> I dialed the wrong number <laughs> again. Sorry, Ev. Bye. Forget it, Sid. By the time you get the number right, we'll be at her house. Let's just go. Let's go, Jay. We're never gonna get good spots by the pool. If you had just let me call her before, she would have been ready. It's, it's about, about time. time. Ugh. We took off on our bikes, and I remember Jamie stopping. Jamie, look what you did! Nature is something to treasure, not run over. Forget the dumb flower, Sydney. Let's move. So, we were at the pool. Me, Reza, and the flower killer, Jamie. Then, I remember the cute guy came up to me. Is this pool heated? Yeah, heated by the sun. Solar heat is much more energy efficient, you know. Really? That's pretty cool. Your name's Sydney, right? See you around school. Who, Who is what that? that? Just some guy from school. He thinks I'm pretty cool. Wow! wow. And? And what? Nothing happened. He just drove by. That's it. That's all. 
You've been a big help, Sid. Thank you for playing. Ugh, this isn't helping at all. I'm gonna blow any chance I ever had with Robbie if I don't figure this out. For all I know, he was proposing. Maybe Evan knows something. But if I ask Evan, he might tell Robbie I didn't get it and... Oh, why did he have to phone me? Wait a minute. Maybe he didn't. Reza, that's it! He didn't think he was calling me! Remember what happened when Sydney tried calling me yesterday? What are you guys talking about? Okay, re-rewind! Hi, can I speak to Jamie? What? Oh, Evan? Whoops, <laughs> I dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Again. Sorry, Ev. Bye. Evan's phone number is only one number different from mine. So what does this have to do with Robbie phoning Jamie? Robbie made the same mistake, only in reverse. He called Jamie when he thought he was calling... Evan! Wow, we figured it out. Robbie, Robbie never, never left, left you, a, you message. a message. Oh. Sorry, Jay. I guess that kind of rules out the marriage proposal. Speaking of the messenger boy... And what's with you anyway? Why are you totally ignoring the message I left on your voicemail? For the hundredth time, I didn't get any message. Yeah, sure you didn't. Nice. I didn't get the message. Things hang in the balance and nothing can be decided until, until you, you decide. decide. That's it. That's the message I left for... But how did you guys know? Robbie, um, you left the message on... Um, my voicemail. Your voicemail? You called me instead of Evan. Our numbers are almost the same. Honest mistake. Oh, sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry I called you. I mean, sorry I messed up, Jamie. That was your message? Things hang in the balance? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, I was talking about the video game. Now, if you don't decide to upgrade your controller, our dual action hookup won't be balanced. What do you think he means by not being sorry? Did he need to call me? Is he going to call me? Does he want to call me? Run, Sydney! Before we have to relive our entire lives! Ah! Sometimes I just don't get those two at all. I guess everyone sees the world a little differently. Me, I see it my way. I look around.